Hey guys, welcome back to Campbell's Corner. Uh, I found another piece of wood, so I thought let's do another fun thing on wood. That's what she said. I kind of have an idea. We're just gonna start by getting it wet with my Jane Davenport Mr. Bottle. Do do do. I'm gonna get some paper towels ready because I know it's gonna get a little messy. And I just grabbed three colors. I've got the violet syrup. Ooh. Violet syrup. We've got fairy floss. And a dash of some fresh air. And I'm intentionally keeping some of it blank, but I think it's gonna get smeared up. It's gonna get all, you know, whatevs. I'm gonna try dabbing some off. Just because I didn't want it to be too crazy. It smells delicious. All right, so now that we got this amazing first step down, I know, that easy, and we got something going on, I'm going to air dry this. And by air dry, I mean blow dry, because ain't nobody got time for air drying. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, dry enough, right? Probably, we'll see, we'll see. find out, it's gonna be great. Um, on to the next step. Oh yeah, there are steps to this apparently. So I already sprayed this color, that color, and that color. Make sure you can actually see that. Uh, with some water so they could start activating. These are the Fine Tech Pearlescent Colors watercolor set. I'm going to get a Juicelicious brush. Hmm. Maybe this one. I don't know if it's gonna be too juicy. I'm scared of a gigantic Kirschblatt. But also, that might be great. We're gonna start with the silvery color. All right, and then we're gonna pick up this like gunmetal gray color. It is going all over the place, that's all right. And then this bluish turquoise green color. All right, now that I've redecorated the uh, art room, I'm going to now let these dry and I'll be right back. You know what, I decided before I let that completely dry, I do want some drippy drips because who doesn't love a good drippy drip? Also, I am using my Jane Davenport Gold Mermaid, oh my goodness, what's this called? A paintbrush. I can leave links below as to where to find them. Gotta make it nice and juicy. Now that I've made a mess, we've got some nice drippies happening. Now I'm gonna dry it for reals and uh, see when I get back. All right, that is probably good enough. So I've decided today I'm going to draw Jong Han from Seventeen uh, because I feel like it. Now normally I would do. If I was just gonna draw on paper, I would do a light grid, and then I'd do a grid over my actual image that I wanted to copy, and then I would like, you know, draw each little square to match the square on my little image to match like on my big image. I'm far too lazy. I did it a lot in high school. I know I can do it, but I just am tired of doing that. So I'm gonna cheat, and we're just gonna do some carbon paper Provision blue pen and pencil carbon paper. Yeah, this thing is like at least 15 years old. I don't know. I've had it forever. I use it every now and then. So basically, you just put this down with the carbon side down. I'm sure you've all used carbon paper, and if not, now's your chance. <laughs> and I'm going to just tape the edges so it doesn't move. And it's an old picture of him, but there he is. And about right there. 
kind of want to use not a mechanical pencil. I am going to use indigo blue. I just want to be able to see it clearly so I don't sit there and draw the same part over and over again. Take a peek, see if I can actually see that. Good lord, no. So this is definitely going to be a fast forward moment. That's probably good enough. Um, I can make up whatever I missed. Oh yeah, it did fill up quite a bit of the, the sparkly. That's okay though. I ain't mad at it. You know me and my sketchy looks that I like. I like a nice sketchy character. All right, thank you, Carbon, you are done. And keep this over here for reference. So you can roughly see where it's at. And now I'm hoping my head doesn't get in the way too much because I, like when I'm working, I normally work like this. I'm gonna try not to do that for your benefit. So when I color, I like to use the French grays. They are my favorites for shading. And then black and white. I have French gray, 20%, 50%, and 90% of the Prism Color brand. And then I have black and I have white. And now I have to pretend like this is all gonna go well and you know, things are gonna turn out. <laughs> it's gonna look so beautiful. I also don't do like a, like I'm not gonna make it like a painting. I am a fan of outlines. More like a Mooka, Alphonse Mooka style. Where he'll, you know, he outlines his work. And it's beautiful. And they're called 17 because they are 13 individuals divided into three units who make up one team. So 13 plus three plus one, and that's how you get 17. And let the shading begin. So really isn't a lot of black. I'm basically, or I'm mainly going to be focusing on eyes, nose, mouth, because I find those to be the most important parts of a face. And I think m most of you would agree with that. All right. I think I say all right way too much. So you can see that I start with the darkest color and I don't put it down as, like I don't put a ton of pressure on it, but I slowly will start to build up the other colors. Oh, I'm debating if I want to use white paint because there's a lot of white. But I think pencil will, will work fine. There's going to be a lot of table shaking. And then like right in here, there's not really any black values. So I'm going to very lightly go over with my almost black just to kind of help give it some depth. And then I'll take roll those all over the place. The next value up and slowly go over where I already did that darker color and just kind of work my way out. There's just a slight touch of shading on his forehead. It's hard to see with all the shiny watercolor. I guess I could have done that afterwards, but I don't know. I didn't. Life goes on. Shade in here. Do a little bit of shading in here. A little shading back here. Again, not trying to make it look perfect. Just trying to give it some depth. 
some oomph, if you will. And then this basically just fades to white. Also, wood will eat your colored pencils up. <laughs> Just know that. And that is why I'm not gonna color this entire thing. I just went dark on that. Like, just cause the hairs and stuff kinda make it look squatchy, but I'm not gonna get that detailed. Don't look so close. If you look too closely, you'll see all the imperfections. Don't do it. His cheek is only slightly shaded. I feel like I should just bust out all the white colored pencils. I don't have to sharpen every five seconds. There's a bit of shading going on in here. Under his lip. And quite a bit through here. Fade off. I don't want to go all the way to the edge. All right. I think. I think these sparkly ones were a major distraction. <laughs> all the sparkly splatters make it ever so slightly difficult to see what the heck I'm doing. That's the idea of an eyeball. Alrighty, let's get in to here. Just his lip is nice and dark. And we'll take the next lightest color. Kind of just go over that dark space that I've already created. Alright, let's do the lightest version before I kill my white again. But John Han is considered like the mom of the group he takes care of them, looks after them. I have to decide how I want to do his hair. I think I'm just gonna go dark with it, just to make him stand out from that background really easily. adding some random strands. Cause I can. Watercolors. I got my Daniel Smiths up here, so Daniel Smiths it is. And I'm gonna just grab my favorite paintbrush that I've used. I've had this over a year now. I mean, it's <laughs> I've kind of trashed it, but that's okay. I think this one's the moon glow. Maybe. Probably. Eh, it'll be fine. I 
That's fun. Let's give this a dry and see what it looks like. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I did whiten his nose a little bit to see if I could get a little bit more of a solid color, and I can, so I'm gonna try and do that, just because I'm not loving how splotchy looking it is. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but if I can make it look a little bit more polished on the front part of his profile, then it'll look nicer as it like blends off and turns into like sketchiness. Still a little wet. Oh, sparkles on my knuckle. Sparkles on my knuckle. I love how I have to keep my head at like this weird, awkward angle just so I can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to get a lot of that glittery sparkle off. That has better coverage. I could bring my reference back, but it blew away when I was blow drying. I mean, it didn't go far. It's literally right over there on the other side of my desk, but I would have to stop what I'm doing, and that's just asking too much. And I think that might conclude this week's Kimball's Corner. Thank you guys for joining me, and I hope you had a good time. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. I try and do a video every Friday, and then every now and then I throw in a random one. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you next Friday. Thanks, you guys. Bye-bye.